Yes, good morning YouTube. In this video, we'll look at how to set up a Kodi system to be a Windows Media Center client. So a Raspberry Pi or a PC running Kodi can be the client. I've tried both and they are quite similar. I happen to be on Windows for this video as it's easier for me to shoot with the camera. And I do have the TV add-ons package installed so it'll the Kodi will look a little bit different from the basic install. If this is a fresh Kodi install, you want to come over here to System and Settings and then the Live TV Settings and then General and you want to check the Enabled button and this will take you automatically to set up the PVR client. If this is an existing install, you would come down here to Add-ons, or if you've already enabled Live TV, that is, and then you would go to Disabled Add-ons, and then you would select your PVR client here. Now, I've already enabled mine, so I'll go to Enabled Add-ons, and you select the PVR WMC client. So this is what picks up the exported content from the server WMC program we installed in the previous video. To configure it, just enter the host name or IP address of your server WMC system. And unless you've changed the port assignments, you're done. Note that you can set up Wake on LAN support here, which is nice if your WMC PC is set up to go to sleep when not being used to save energy. If there's interest, I can show how to configure this here and on the Windows Media Center in a separate video. Also note the store resumed watch status on the server option. More on that later. So this will pick up all the live TV programs, the program guide or EPG, and the TV recordings and schedules off of the server PC. And it will also populate the TV tab in Kodi. So let's take a closer look at the options under the TV tab. Channels gives you a linear channel listing and EPG gives you a TV guide in grid form. I think nine, eight channels down and about three hours across. The recordings tab is your media center recorded TV programs and they're grouped by series so each series will have a what looks like a folder and if you go into a series you can see on the far right here there's these check marks and that indicates the watched status so that's helpful if you're watching a series in order and if I were to watch this particular episode on Cody it would then get marked as watched on the recorded TV folder in Media Center so that if I later went back to watch the next episode, maybe this one, I would already know that I had watched that episode. And that's controlled by that store resumed watch status on the server option in the client configuration. And then timer is Kodi speak for scheduled recordings from Windows Media Center. So you can view, uh, modify, and you can actually create a new timer from this menu. And I'll talk about that a little more in a, a follow-up video. And then the last tab is search. So the search tab allows you to search within the currently loaded program guide for TV programs. So if I search, you know, for something exactly like Gilligan's Island, I have to spell it exactly this way. I have to have Gilligan with a, an apostrophe S 
and it'll tell me that there's two episodes of Gilligan's Island uh, currently in the program guide. Let's see what happens if I click on one. I could add a timer to uh, record that if I wanted to. So for the remainder of the Media Center experience, you'll need to set that up manually. It's a simple matter of adding links in Kodi to pick up your other media content like pictures, music, videos, etc. These will duplicate the media library settings you have on your Media Center PC. And if those libraries are not shared, you'll need to do that and then take note of the share name. So in Kodi, go to the tab you want to set up, for example, Music then select files and then add music and then you want to browse and then you're, you're going to look for an SMB which is the Windows networking share and you'll find your you know for instance music I've already done this so I'll just cancel and then that gives you your music folder so it's best to have one type of content per file folder added since Kodi has a single content type selection. If you have, say, a videos folder, and this is on my media server, you can see I have a folder named video, and in that video I have movies, I also have music videos, and I also have TV programs that would cause a problem if I loaded all that at once. It would be best if you add that as separate items under the videos tab. So I've already loaded videos slash movies as one folder. I'm gonna do video slash TV series and I'll say OK. You can see it's filled in the name and now when I go here I have a choice of unknown content it can be music videos TV shows or movies since this is TV shows I want to use the TV database to get content for that and then when I say OK It'll ask me if I want to refresh the information for the items in this path. And I'll say OK, and you can see it's, it's scanned for new content. That has populated a TV Shows tab. So I can go down here. So these are TV shows that weren't recorded locally. That pretty much covers the basic setup of Kodi as a client for Windows Media Center. In the next video I'll try to give you a brief demonstration of the major differences I see so that you can decide if this will work as a Media Center extender replacement or not. Questions welcome in the comment section below. Check out some of my other cable cutting videos in the playlist link here in the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.